What is going on, fam? So we are on our way to the gym for this leg day in this rainy afternoon. Honestly, it's a vibe. I, it's one of those days where I like, I'm kind of feeling like being in a dark gym on a rainy day. It sounds sounds like a vibe. I need to wake up a little bit. Uh, we don't have any pre-workout for this uh, this workout, so we're just gonna have to really push it. You know, I think. Um, We'll be plenty of, well, since we didn't have any pre-workout, we'll have plenty of creatine because I ended up taking, uh, I, I took two two servings last night. I typically take two a day. Um, and then I took some for my pre-workout too. So getting plenty of creatine in. Anytime I run out of like pre-workout, I always just uh, do a little bit of extra creatine and take a caffeine pill instead. Because I usually have caffeine pills for in the morning time, just to kind of get my day started. Um, like five bucks at a Walmart, by the way. Less than that, I believe. So, you guys are just taking pre-workout for caffeine. Just take some caffeine pills. Don't go crazy with them, obviously, but they definitely help. They're a lot cheaper. Save you some money. But anyways, plan on doing a lot of recording. I, I also, I think, guys, we might be changing up the split soon. So, my main thing, you know, we, we've been kind of talking about this the past few days, is my back is just so... It's causing some issues with my shoulder and my chest and my, my arms. And I'm thinking um, it may be that we're training our chest just a little bit too often. You know, I made a post about that today on my TikTok because uh, it's something me and my brother, who's a physical therapist, um, we, we talked about this before. I actually talked about this on my podcast. Um, by the way, yeah, guys, we, we are still doing the podcast. The podcast is still rolling. I need to put a link for that in the description. Uh, maybe I'll do that today. Maybe I won't. Who knows? But if you go to uh, Spotify, just look up um, the Fat Loss Audit, um, then you should be able to find me, Chigel. <laughs> but what are we talking about? Oh, yeah. Colton, <laughs> my brother, he was telling me that, like, typically a lot of the times people will overtrain the chest. What is this lady doing? Okay. I don't know why she waited so long to go. Uh, people will overtrain their chest. And uh, what will end up happening is those chest muscles start pulling your shoulders forward. And they can actually make your posture kind of messed up. And I think that's what's going on with my chest. Uh, well, not just my chest, but I think my back. You know, we've talked about this forever, but I think my traps are slacking, you know. And so I, I'm trying to figure out what kind of split I'm really wanting to do. You know, something I actually was thinking about, this there's two different ones I'm thinking about. We'll, we'll kind of give it, we'll give it a few days to decide what we're exactly going to do. But I was thinking of doing like a chest and back day instead of a, uh, you know, back and chest like being separated. Um, or I was thinking of, you know, keeping the back day and then adding on to arm day like switch flip-flopping chest and back day, uh, yeah, chest and back day, so they're not back to back, but adding traps into arm day. Um, I don't know, man. I do think that that actually might be the best option. So what I'm saying is like adding traps, just literally all we would do, we wouldn't switch the workout split that much. We would just do arms and traps, you know, which would be shoulders. And we kind of do that anyways. Like when we do side raises, guys, you're hitting your traps. Um, in a way so you know it's one of those things like obviously still hitting those on my back day but it just gives me a chance to get more volume in because guys it's not my lats that they're that are the issue my lats are fine you know so i don't think i just need a whole nother back day you know what i mean um i think i just need to focus on my my traps um which another thing with that too um because the thing is, I still want to keep building my chest, you know, and I think just adding some more volume in, doing more volume than my chest will allow that to, because it's not just, it's not just like the size you want, right? Because more volume is just going to add more size to your back. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to try and make sure your mobility and your posture is going to be right. Because um, otherwise, again, guys, even if you're working on that chest and you're getting a huge chest, if it's pulling you over so much that you're like covering your chest up with your posture, and it's not really gonna look better, guys. It honestly looks worse, even if you may be a little bit stronger. But anyways, I digress. Something to think on. You know, I'm gonna talk, actually I'm gonna be talking to my brother uh, this weekend. So what day is it? It's uh, Tuesday. Mm. 
I don't know. Maybe I'll talk to him tonight, send him some videos and see what he thinks. I'll talk to him tonight. I think we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out because tomorrow will be chest day or it'll be back day. You know, it could be either or depending on what decision I make tonight. Um, so I'm going to talk to him, see what he thinks. Um, you know, I'm not opposed to doing a chest and back day either because if we're doing chest and back, I could just reduce the amount of chest we're doing and fill that in with more back. But the problem with that is we would be getting in less chest exercises. You know, I still want to build onto my chest. I just want to make sure I'm building more onto my back. Um, I think that is going to be a big thing. Not necessarily even building more. Maybe it's, maybe it's even just building more strength. You know, there's a few different things I'll need to think about. Um, but at the same time too, guys, you don't want to think too long on it. You know, obviously we know we need to be doing something different um, when it comes to that. So, I don't know. I'm going to talk to my brother about it. We'll see what's up. But uh, I got a lot of recording I got to do for you guys today. Tuesdays and Thursdays are my recording content and editing content days for you guys to, you know, get stuff from the TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, um, podcast. You know, we're do I'm recording another podcast later tonight. Um, so a few different things we got going on. So I'm going to get inside, get warmed up, and get some stuff recorded for you guys. So we're doing the reverse of what I said yesterday. I said yesterday that we were going to end off with squats we're going to start off with squats and then we're going to end off with this uh oh shit i forgot to look up the name but i believe it's called a shark pit which is right here y'all can't see it but like i said i think i kind of want to do a lot of compound stuff today like i'm thinking about hitting some more leg press because they feel good and hack squat it's because they feel good you know so i don't know we'll see um god hack squat does sound good right now man we'll see what happens i've got a few different things i want to hit um, but with these, I just got done recording a superset thing for you guys uh, on TikTok. I'll probably post it on the YouTube shorts too. But got those out of the way, probably at four or five sets. I did get a few sets of 315 in. Um, I'm not feeling super strong today. Uh, I think it's a little bit due to my sleep. I've been, again, guys, that's like probably one of the, the main things I need to work on the most. Let's get to, uh, started this freaking documentary, docu-series last night. And, didn't go to bed till like 12.30, or didn't go to sleep till like 12.30. I woke up at 6.30. So, not bueno. I need to try and really get those seven hours at the very bare minimum. But anyways, we'll do like sets of uh, 12 to 15 to see how they're feeling. Um, I'm not going to like really push it because there's not any safeties on this thing, you know. I want to be a little bit safe with it. But that's why we're doing 225, not 315. If we uh, had those safeties up. I didn't think about it before I started squatting here, but if we had those safety stuff, I would be playing around with that because I do need to get used to that. Ugh. Oh, by the way, we did weigh out at like 222 today. So, no, it was like 224, 224.1. The heaviest of the bulk so far. Let's go. Whew. <clears throat> I need to back up just one more step. I'm not used to squatting in this kind of rack. There we go. Ah. Having a tendency to want to fall forward for some reason. Mm. 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 Uh. Oh, God. Hey. <sighs> Squats are just taking it out of me today. I think part of it, it's a little bit to do with those reverse hypers. My back feels more loose, which I guess is a good thing. Right. Make it a good two minute break here. heavy today. Oh. 
home, or at least God. God, dude. Squatch is just kicking my butt today, dude. Whew. That's okay. I typically wear my tennis shoes and do those heel elevated, but those were, I wore my sandals today. Not that that should matter too much, but I definitely, it's going a little bit wider than I usually do. So, anywho, those are done. I think. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get these leg presses in, dude. I really do want to hit those. Get like a lot of sets of those in. We've got about two more sets here. Not bad right here. These are actually feeling pretty good. A lot better than the squats were, man. I don't know what it was, what the deal was with the squats today. My body was just like, no. But I don't know. Part of me wants to skip out on the hack squats now and start going towards more like one legged, like the step ups, like we were talking about. Because I said we needed to hit those too. Uh, I definitely get, need to get some kind of like lunge in of some sort. I need to start warming up with those. That would be a really good idea, especially for leg days, just like body weight ones. Uh, there's so many things I feel like I need to hit now and I'm starting to think about it. Ah, shit. Okay. Here's what we'll do. After these, I'll probably go ahead and get in some um, lunges off camera. And then there's a glute machine I want to show y'all, along with this freaking uh, shark pit I want to show y'all. So there's... There's so many things we still got to do, but we'll get there one thing at a time. Progress, not perfection. Am I right? This feels heavy. This is my heaviest set. Let me get a little bit higher up. Ah! That's definitely plenty of weight. Why in God's name did I wear flip-flops today? Jesus Christ. I think what we'll do for next leg day is uh, we'll start off the workout with reverse lunges. Put like six on each side. Uh, and then, yeah, I do a lot of like unilateral stuff maybe next leg day. Uh, Cause they got like a unilateral leg extension over there. I'm not gonna use that today. So that would, that would be a good idea. Um, and then do the same thing with hamstring curls, kind of go like a unilateral day on, uh, I guess that would be like sometime this weekend. I don't know. We still got to figure out what the hell we're doing with chest and back day. I do think like tomorrow we're going to make a back day, you know, I'm going to talk to my brother, see what he thinks. But I do think just adding to those extra quad like traps, cause I'm starting to notice like I always thought I had traps, dude, uh, which they're strong, you know, but not compared to my lats. My lats are just overbearing. And I think that's what's happening is like, there's some imbalances going on in there. And I'm going to send him a video of me doing those dips yesterday. And I think that'll help him come to a conclusion. Whew. All right. Let's get these fuckers out of the way. Cause I do want to show you all this glute machine too. Cause I do need to get glutes in for the anterior pelvic tilt. I think glutes along with the uh, reverse hypers, which I am probably going to try and get in sometime today after we do all the heavy lifting and stuff. Uh, but I think all of that combined, just gonna be a really, really good thing to kind of get that posture exactly what I'm looking for for the competition. Ooh, all right, get ready. Sorry, I was 15. Fucking Rengoku from Demon Slayer popped into my headset and I was sort of going, nope, gotta do it now. <laughs> All right. God, I gotta get back in my anime game. Been so off. Anyways, let me uh, get ready for, uh, get these lunges done and then we'll do some glutes. All right, this should be a good angle, I guess. 
best angle we're gonna get. Again, this is just the warm up to what we're about to do. Uh, the pit shark I've never used before, which I've never used this before, or at least it's been like years since I have, but it's just a glute kickback. So you're just taking this thing, kicking back. And honestly, I can feel it working pretty well. Like, you really wanna use the edge of your foot when you're kicking back, by the way. That's what's gonna help you rotate your knees out. <clears throat> yeah, I need to do these more for sure. And there's a glute hip extension right next to me too. We might do that next leg day, but we gotta make sure we're getting those glutes in, man. Cause again, guys, like the plan is not to just bodybuild all the time, you know? Like I also would like to get a jujitsu or MMA comp either next year or the year after. So that being said, one of the most athletic muscles you could train is your glutes, you know? It's one of the things that gives you balance. <clears throat> God, I'm not even using that much. Woo. Yeah, that's kicking my butt, dude. Literally. <laughs> uh, I'm only doing eight on each side, but four, four sets of this. Plenty, dude. I also hit the shit out of my shin when I was getting in that leg press earlier. That hurt, dude. And you guys have seen me kick my shins on tires. Like, <laughs> that hurt. Let me feel that tomorrow. Hey, ooh. <coughs> All right. We're done with those, man. Oh, I'm worn out. I'm gonna get the pitch shark ready. We'll get those going, but God, so far it's definitely a high calorie burning leg day. I'll tell you all that. All right, dude, this thing is fucking awesome. I never actually got to use one of these before. My buddies in football did. Uh, I had quit before they got that thing, or this thing rather, this is the pitch shark and it is called the pitch shark. I was right. It just sounds crazy when I say it out loud, <laughs> but this thing is fucking awesome. Like this, it's allowing me to hit my legs in a way that squats just don't let me. For some reason, like, I think it's my back, but I get real limited at a squat. Like up here, it's the balance part of it. Like I can't get that full extension in my, in my glutes. And because of that, uh, I think that's why I got the interior pelvic tilt. So I think this is going to be something I start using a lot more than squats, to be honest. Like, obviously we're gonna get like a one rep max and, you know, still use squats. Like you can't just take squats out. They're, so, they're, they're a basic, you know, but I need to be throwing these in a lot. But let me show y'all what I mean. So, God, it's pinching my skin. Whenever I'm doing this, I can get my feet real tight together and I can get full extension actually right here. You know, like I actually can get full extension in my glutes right here like it puts my back bent forward and everything and you know you can't do that when i can't get in this position when i'm in a squat i would fall over you know what i mean so i think it's just because i'm more hamstring dominates the way my body works and i think there's a lot of people like that uh you know if a great indicator of that is if you like deadlifts more than you like squats you're probably like me you're probably hamstring dominant but whew, let's get these in Ugh. my only complaint is this strap hurts like a bitch Ugh. but that's okay. God, I feel that really good, man. I do feel like I wish I had a little bit more of a wider space. I had to put these mats here so I can get real deep with it, but there's more mats. I can figure it out next time. Okay. Uh, uh, that's how you get out. <laughs> Getting out's a little rough. Uh, yeah, we'll get one more of those in, but I fucking like them. I've already gotten like, that was probably like six, set six or seven. So I'm starting to feel pretty tired, <laughs> but good workout so far, man. Like this will be the last thing I record, I think. Uh, ooh, I'm shaking. Uh, 
we might, we're gonna try and get a pose out in, dude, but I, <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be a really sloppy one. Cause I'm just, I can feel myself like shaking. Just didn't get enough sleep last night. But we'll do it, you know, like I said, we'll try and do one every day. Try not to skip that part. Whew. And then I'm getting some reverse hypers after these though. Uh, that's what my core is gonna be for the day. I guess. I'll probably get some hanging leg raises in too before I leave. Doing some kickboxing today as well. We got a lot going on today. Uh, but I have the time for it, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. Boy's doing a lot of recording and a lot of this is my work, you know, so technically I guess you could say I'm on the clock. I mean, I know I am because, ooh, that's in a weird position. Let me reset that. But yeah, I know I am because I get paid for these YouTube videos. <laughs> Not much, it's like pennies on the dimes, but you know what I mean. It helps me make content for the Instagram and stuff. That's how I justify it in my mind, my mind so I don't feel bad for being here for so long. <laughs> for real, I do. I could be here for a long time if it wasn't for other stuff Ugh, that I wanted to get done. I would be here literally uh, all day. Uh, well, and they'd probably kick me out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude, one day, dude, I'd love to have a gym like this to myself. Like, imagine how cool that would be. I already looked it up online how much these things cost. These only cost about 800, 800, you know, so. Which sounds like a lot, but when we're talking about like equipment, I mean, honestly, treadmills go for that. Or uh, not treadmills, ellipticals. Treadmills you can probably get for pretty cheap, a pretty shitty one, but I don't use treadmills. Oh, all right. I just need to get that hip extension in. I almost feel like I need more room than just like right here. You know what I mean? Maybe I could step off the back. I don't know. Like what if I stepped like right here? Oh man, that's like a sissy squat. Woo! I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right, get serious. Last one. God, dude, it feels like somewhere between a Jefferson curl and a, uh, uh, almost like a kettlebell swing, like how you tuck your glutes for that. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, here, let me get out of this fucking torture device. <laughs> but it's almost like I'm thinking, like if I were over here doing it, it's almost like I'm thinking here and then I get, I'm curling in. Like I'm almost pushing my knees and my hips forward to contract here. And then I'm using that bar to push. So it's almost like a Jefferson push like that. And I feel a really good squeeze. Whew. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, probably gonna go ahead and wrap up, get some of these reverse hypers in, get the abs done. Uh, and then we'll do a quick, quick pose out. Let's try that. Why not, right? Why not? It doesn't look too bad. So let's just see what's going on. Like I said, we're not gonna do too much with it today. His legs and uh, I'm not posing in my underwear today. I don't feel like that. <laughs> but let's check out how everything else is looking. That beautiful. That hat is soaked through. I just washed this hat too, damn man. Like I said, we weighed out at the heaviest we've weighed in the bulk, which is 224. Ooh. Right about here. 224.1. Which is a little quick, I'm not gonna lie, but. I think if we uh, keep the calories at 5,000 for the next three weeks, two weeks, three weeks, three weeks, 
three and a half, I can't remember exactly, <laughs> until February 14th, then uh, we should be good. Metabolism should be fine. And we shouldn't gain like a ton of body fat from it. Woo. Yeah, let's look at this freaking shoulder slash back situation we got going on. Like I said, I can just feel this front deltoid poking out. I don't know how well y'all can see. It's a good angle for me to look at. I can't tell if it's a good angle for y'all, but we'll find that out in post. I mean, I'm still pretty happy. Or decently happy with how much we can see our abs still. I mean, they're not like popping or anything. But they're visible enough to where I'm like, okay, we're not above 15% or we shouldn't be above 15%. In fact, it might go down, like I told y'all before. Because uh, gaining muscle will actually drop that body fat percentage more than losing fat will. Believe it or not, just because of the uh, metabolism boost. God. Hey, I do feel sore in my back, I will say that. Whew. I just feel a little bit flabby in parts. Just a little bit. Like that. I feel like I got some blubber going on. <laughs> Which is okay, I guess, for right now. We'll work on it. I'm not going to, like, freak out about it. I'm really just kind of going with the flow, and then we'll, once we get that in body in, we'll really, like dictate our next decision off of it. But I do think, again, there is loose skin. I mean, obviously, if you can see me do this, like I'm barely touching and you see all that rippling, some loose skin in there. So I still gotta keep using that cream. I've been slacking a little bit on that. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Oh, dude, forgot to go hit calves. I'm gonna go hit calves real quick. But uh, not too shabby. Get a... Uh, Quick little back pose in. Hopefully y'all can see what's going on with my shoulder. It's another reason why we're doing this. Okay. We'll look at that in post because I want to see what that's looking like. See what the fuck's going on back there. <laughs> but I'm gonna go hit some calves, get some kickboxing in, and then I'll see you guys in the car. All right, we're done. <laughs> That was a good fucking workout, dude. I know we didn't get to lift a lot of weight, but again, we're not fucking strength training here. Or we're not power lifters, you know? Bodybuilding right now, homie. And I gotta say, bodybuilding wise, that was a good fucking workout. Especially those, uh, that shark pit, pit shark, whatever the fuck. <laughs> the pit shark's gonna be dope, man, because I do think we'll be able to use it next leg day. You know, I said we were gonna do some unilateral, one-sided stuff next leg day. Um, but I think I could do like one legged uh, pit shark squats. Like I do think uh, almost like a step up. Cause I was kind of doing that and playing around with that before I started recording that. And I did a set like that and it actually felt really good. So we may try that next leg day. Um, but overall, man, solid. Like my, my hat is soaked through. I'm gonna wear this hat to the gym for the next few days since it's already just like fucking drenched with sweat. I'm not gonna, I try and wash my hats all at the same time. Cause I got a bunch of hats now. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to try and wear this on my head too often unless I'm going to go sweat somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But we did like 15 minutes of, car uh, well, I did, I did my, tw I did 25 minutes of cardio this morning. I got going a little bit late. Um, and cause I kind of wanted to get in some kickboxing today. Anyways, I kind of want to do that every other day or so. Um, and I don't worry. I am doing a lot of southpaw stuff, trying to get this hand or this shoulder up to par with this one. Uh, but it's a, it was a fun one today, man. I felt like everything was just connecting. Uh, the reason I, I don't like to give up my kickboxing stuff, man, is like, guys, like I've gotten to where I am with my kickboxing and how it looks just from working on the bag. Like you guys highly underestimate how good doing that every, like, just about every day 
uh, for 10 years can make you. Like it, it does, it is significant, especially if you work on different drills, check out different YouTube videos. And again, try different combos, do different stuff, um, see what works best for you and then spar with people, which I spar with people every couple, you know, I haven't sparred with anyone in a long time. It's, it's been about a year now. Um, maybe not quite as long as a year, um, but sparring with people and going to different gyms to, to, to spar with people and see how those skills amount up to, man, that's all you really need um, to get pretty damn good, or at least to where I've gotten. Uh, and I would say I'm a, I'm, I'm, I really want to do another MMA fight. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's in my head. Like it's, it's on that, it's on that grind list. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, one of those things I, I'm very, if you guys noticed, like I don't do what your average 27 year old does. You know, a lot of you guys may, you know, hear me say in 27 and go, wow, you look, you may seem older, you act older. It's because I don't party. I don't. I take this shit very serious because I know there's a clock. I know there's a time in which I'm not gonna be able to do that stuff anymore. You know. So like, there's no fucking around. Uh, I mean, I fuck up here and there, as you guys know and have as you've seen, because I'm not perfect. But uh, I do take all this very serious, and I'm not here to waste time. Um, God damn, that's enough. Get out of here. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it was just driving me nuts. I know. I know y'all could hear that. Whoopsies. We're fine. I just made a loud ding. I wasn't prepared for. <laughs> I gotta clean my car. It's not even that messy. It's just like this, these two cans sitting here. Anyways, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I think we're gonna go ahead and do uh, back day tomorrow, y'all. Um, just to get everything in rhythm. And the reason I want to do a back day tomorrow is so that we can do traps and and arms on um, traps and arm day. You know, I don't want them to be back to back. I want to have a little bit of day, like a, a day in between. Um, but I do think that's going to help make sure that we get that extra little bit of trap work in. All I'm going to do is like one or two trap exercises, you know, um, just to make sure we're getting some good trap activation in middle trap activation. Um, nothing crazy. Just making sure we're getting them hit. You know what I mean? Maybe I might do like three sets or something, but like only like one recorded with you guys. Other than that, you know, um, we just got to make sure it's not taking over like, my worry is that it's gonna take over our arm and, and uh, our tricep and bicep day. You know what I mean? Cause we already gotta hit shoulders that day too. We already gotta hit forearms that day. Uh, and I'm already not hitting forearms as it is, you know? So I don't know. Well, I mean, it's one of those things, like I don't wanna to think too much into it, but I definitely need to like, not just jump into something new. And I don't know, like I said, we're gonna, I'm gonna think about it tonight figure out what we're doing with it but I, I'm pretty certain I want to switch something up as far as the back goes you know just to make sure we're getting plenty of back in um, I mean we could do a chest and back day and then separate like a you know shoulder shoulders and and back on its own day and then do arms on its own day and do legs on its own day I mean that's not a bad idea either Ooh. I need to think about it, y'all. I need to think about it. Give me time. Like I said, you'll find out tomorrow. We'll have a good decision made up. Um, but I'm gonna wrap up the vlog for the day, get home. I've actually got a concrete, like literally ice cream I'm about to go eat. Um, Cause I did eat most of my protein already. I mean, I've got a protein shake, obviously. Um, but uh, a lot of that protein I got in earlier today. So uh, I had a bunch of calories left over and Alex got some ice cream. I was like, dude, give me some because I'm gonna have to figure out how to get these calories in. Uh, and then I'm having pizza rolls tonight, dude. So you guys hear all these different foods, you know, it's the Sam Sulek style of dieting. That's true. Like I know a lot of people give him shit about that, but as a nutritionist who is certified to say stuff on this, he's right when it comes to that. You're like, you can't eat whatever the fuck you want as long as you're hitting within those calories and that protein. Cause like I said, guys, the most, most people are not dying from getting cancer from drinking diet sodas or you know you know what i mean like it's not what it's how much that's what's killing people but i digress we can talk about that another day uh thank you guys for watching peace out see you guys tomorrow